this for handling this really well. I did a terrific job on this box. Thankfully, Super ATV does pretty good on boxing your stuff up. How is that? Wait, let me show them the. They give you like a little QR code. Yep, you can just scan that, and you'll have all the instructions you need. Came with all our little brackets, bolts, nuts. Well, guys, here you go. Here is the uh, front bumper that we're going to be installing today. Um, here's all your, not sure what tools we'll need yet. We'll, uh, we'll show you the tools as needed. Gonna get into that here in a second. Probably the most simple process is you got two little your factory, unless you got an aftermarket front grill, you got two little clips right there, and this pushes pushes down and you just pull up. Simple as that. Then you got, I believe, two star bits right here that are going to go right there. I think they're like a T45, not sure, or they might be an actual nut. Um, on the, if it, if, unless you've had a winch changed out, it showed a nut in the instructions, so. Not sure on that. Then your next step, I believe, will be to remove your factory bumper. You got a, uh, probably like a 13 or 14 millimeter, roughly, maybe a 15. And then you got none on the back side. You'll want to remove both and bolts on both sides, and I believe your factory bumper will pull right off. Is that a T45 that you're using? Or does it say? It doesn't say, does it? CRVT40? Oh, it's a T40, okay. I was close. It looked like a T45. And guys, you do not have to use an impact on this. You can simply use a uh, ratchet or a... Or the tool that comes with your machine. Yes. I will show you all that here in a second. So Polaris is pretty smart. They include just about all the tools you need to take, about, take off all your plastic. So if you keep... Keep your factory tool kit. You got plenty. You got like an air uh, stuff to check your tires, some pliers, and then also on the new razors, that right there is a lug wrench for your lug nuts. So that's super convenient. But yeah, like uh, like she was saying, these right here fit. So you can take about off all this plastic pieces with just some basic hand tools that come with your uh that come with your machine so you don't really need a bunch of fancy tools to do this job now i will say having an impact or a ratchet is going to make that a lot easier so that guys there's a the 15 millimeter bolt comes up through that factory bolt hole right there and then this nut is on the back side so you will need a 15 millimeter wrench and a 15 millimeter socket you do not have to have an impact to make this job go or to make this job work you have to have a 15 millimeter socket and a wrench and a ratchet so uh impact just speeds up the process well it looks like we're gonna have to remove another cover maybe that might block that from coming off so having to use the improvise because we don't, I don't have my hex head uh, sockets here. They're at my toolbox at my house. Oh yeah, piece right here. You got the two. I'm gonna go ahead and put that up so I don't lose that. Got to bend that back. So you got uh, two brackets here that are uh, holding this piece of fascia shield on the front here. Uh, you'll want to remove that to get to these size these are maybe a 15 millimeter we'll find out here in a second 
That is to remove the front bumper completely. Yep, 15. All we need is a short extension. There you go, there's your old bumper right there. So uh, I'm gonna set it right next to the new bumper. See how I'm gonna see a comparison of how much more protection this one's gonna offer versus uh, the old bumper. So the old bumper just stops under the headlights. This one's gonna wrap all the way around the headlights and it's gonna um, keep, you, keep the front end from getting scrapped up as much and allow you to run over uh, smaller trees. So it looks like they looks like they bolt up the same up front right there. Yep, looks like it bolts up the same way. Just you're gonna use the new brackets for the how this one bolts up. These are already made made and welded into it. Whereas Super ATV gave you the brackets that you bolt onto the the frame. So as we're going to uh, try to slide this back into the factory holes these bolts are. There we go. And uh, does it come with? Nope, you reuse. You're going, so don't lose these. Don't lose your push pins either. You gotta reuse your factory nuts that hold on your factory bumper and guys by the way this is this bumper is only going to work for a 2024 razor as you can see so 2024 2025 i don't know if they they hadn't released the 2026 yet so we're quite a bit of ways away from that so they just released the 2025 uh, new color schemes are pretty awesome but uh i really like the way the 20 24s look the front ends look better the transmission seemed to be better geared for bigger tires which is what we're in for so again 15 millimeter and a short extension doesn't really matter just long enough to get in there oh well i'm, I'm gonna loosen that one up so we have adjustment so that way we can have adjustment on the uh back here Yep, going to want to reuse your stock bolt that came out of your stock bumper and the stock nut as well. Uh, these are both going to be a 15 millimeter like earlier and you're going to return them in the same exact position. These are going to face in just like this. Guess it doesn't matter which way you go. I'm going to put it back how the factory had it. The factory had it like that where the nut was coming through. Want to start that with your get as tight as possible, and then I'm gonna say put that get that bolt threaded in there that they provide that Super TV provides. Get that threaded in there before I leave that loose. Get the get the nut. I mean get the bolt that they provide in the hole uh, in the bumper. So I'm gonna go grab that real quick and I'll be right back. Super DV M10 bolts that they provided are a 13 millimeter. So you will need a 13 millimeter and at least some kind of way to tighten it up. I'm going with a, a standard ratchet, snap on ratchet. Let me go ahead and run this in there with my fingers. And the reason you always start something with your fingers is so you know it ain't cross threaded as once told ain't no tight like cross thread tight well that, that's true if you don't ever plan on taking something else off so that that gave you the adjustment leaving that leaving that loose was the right move because that gave you the proper adjustment to uh get that lined up and get this m10 bolt in there so again this is a 13 millimeter and you're probably going to need a ratchet because you're not going to be able to get an impact on there unless you got a swivel. And not most people have swivels, so 
we're gonna go get the other side lined up and uh, we'll, we'll get we'll pick y'all back up when we get this to the tightening phase. That's all that matters. And now for the other bolt that goes into the factory, or no, this one goes into the Super ATV bumper. Just like that. I'm gonna go ahead and snug up this one real quick. I grabbed a shorter ratchet because that Oh, snap-on ratchet was hitting the tire it's so long. So I got that nice and snug where I want it. So now I, I know where this bracket's going to sit. I can go ahead and tighten that 15 millimeter. And again, you're going to need a 15 millimeter socket and a wrench on the back side because you will never get that tight unless you're holding it from the back side. Good and tight. And then we're going to go ahead and tighten up this 13 millimeter right here into the snap, uh, snap on Super ATV bumper. One more little, yep. And I don't believe that bolt right there needs to be super, super tight. I snugged it down and then just put about uh, I'm just going to call it 45, 35 foot pounds, redneck style. My elbow clicks, so, you know, heard my elbow pops, so that means about 45 foot pounds. And you're going to come repeat the process over here. We'll, uh, I'm going to let her do this side, and I'm going to video that. All right, here we go. She's going to get the wrench lined up on the back side there of that 15 millimeter bolt, and then use the impact to snug it up. Guys, I don't want to hear that this is a tough install. Because this, I would give this a 10 being the hardest and 1 being the easiest. I'd give this probably a, a 2.5, maybe a 3. Because that, getting to that nut could be a little bit of, of a frustrating. But made a quick, quick work out of it. I'll give y'all the first little overview, the first front view with no grill, no face shift put back on. So, yeah, peep the new tree kickers. The new 33s on the beadlocks versus the stock factory tires. We're going to put these T40s back in. I started talking before she started recording. I got in trouble. Shh, don't tell nobody. Uh, yeah, we're going to use this little Ryobi tool. I'm trying to convert her, but uh, she already had a, a lot of her own tools before we started talking. A lot of my own tools? I have every Ryobi tool. I know. <laughs> I, I got your You don't want to over tighten that because you're just tightening plastic down. You're tightening this fascia uh, piece to the bumper, so it's solid now. Step two, the uh, finishing bolt and the bumper on, minus putting plastic pieces back on, uh, is tighten up these two 15 millimeters down here. A little loud, a little loud. You want to make sure those are good and tight, though. That's what's holding it on the frame right there. You got two bolt points. You got a bolt point back here and a bolt point back here, and then two up front. So you got two in the rear, two in the front. So pretty simplistic of how this goes on. Uh, Super ATV always makes their stuff 
pretty simple to install we'll say that thumbs up on that well guys so he, he's putting these back in there mm -hmm. for the winch they have nothing to do with the bumper so don't take those off yeah don't be you me. don't need to do that don't be me but we're reversing our extra step they look like they needed to come out you just wanted to use a different tool. Yes, I did. I wanted to use the Allen head tool. That's why I wanted that one that's left. But that those are back in. Don't touch those. Leave yeah. them on. Make sure those are good and tight because that's what, I, if you do pull those out, I, you do have a bumper. I mean, a winch bumper, which is kind of like what this is right here. Uh, your lower winch mount. Make sure you tighten those up because uh, if you don't tighten that up, you might lose, you might lose the top half of your winch. So uh, we're going to put these front fascia shields back on. This little piece of the fascia, I believe it goes right up under there. Uh, make sure you don't lose these little brackets because that's what uh, that's what came off earlier off right here. I'm going to have to take this and pinch this around with a pair of um, channel locks. So, I'm going to make sure those go back on there or you won't get your bolts back in there. So, And uh, rivets go right here. As these two rivets go. Boom. Boom. All right, guys, if you have the Polaris HD 4,500 pound HD winch, uh, tell them what you gotta do, baby. Okay, so these are just covers on the side. Um, and to get this fascia back on, you might wanna take them off. On both sides, them, really? So yeah. It. I got it in on this left side, but then we got stuck over here. So uh, it's I a lot easier to take, take it off. Take this off, and then it just pops back Pops up right on. There. So, because it's snug up under this yeah it's really bumper. snug so and we got these short uh t40 hex head bolts that go in right here and then your rivets go right there where my finger is right there we'll show you here in a second Good job, baby. Good idea. No, I kept you around for some reason. Patience is a virtue. Don't grow soft. <laughs> oh, I'll do that again. Alright, putting these T40 bolts back in. Right here. These are all hand tool because it's just plastic. It doesn't take really, really tight. It's just a, you just want those snug, and then you're gonna have a push pin in the front door of that, and it's just like a little thing. A red, it's just a guard through radiator. You just line it up with the hole right there, and you're in there just like that. And you're